An avalanche of romance, a landslide of love. This will be the weirdest night of your music listening life. Uh, you will hear great writers doing terrible, terrible songs tonight. Right now the odds are bad, but the stakes are good. First and the Worst is an event we do every year where hit songwriters perform their very early bad songs long before they wrote any hit songs. Dear Sober, it's over. I'm needing some time on my own. A lot of the songs are very funny, some of them maybe a little risque, like the one I'm gonna do tonight is. <laughs> We're gonna be getting some it's real sexy. You will hear terrible songs uh, as some of the town's greatest songwriters vie for what has become the most sought after trophy in music. It is called the Crappy Award. Crappy. Kind of hope I come in turd on this one. I, <laughs> Go and have a good life, honey, with anybody but Bill. So what we've got to do here now is have a, um, uh, well, gosh, we got to have a, a raucous celebration of terribleness <laughs> is what we have. Tip ball sitting down on the table. Tip ball sitting down on the table. The man from Florida who opened his heart to you about tip balls, Bobby Braddock. Pork is pine. Pork is pine. Bobby Braddock. Pork is pork. Thank you, and I bet Mrs. Tidball is dancing in her grave. We ask them to come on stage and perform those. Then they, at the end of the evening, they get to sing their hits. So there's going to be another mountain. Always going to want to make it through. In the last three years, we have served 4,100 music industry professionals and their family. And we have saved in healthcare costs $10.8 million. I'm a big fan of all those people, and obviously, just being a musician myself and a songwriter and fighting the good fight out there, um, I want to help when I can. somebody to help us navigate through health insurance and, and all of that kind of stuff. It's it's cool to be able to give back to something like that. I went to work for her that some. It was fantastic. Uh, just some high points of the whole show. Lee Bryce wondering, you know, what's it like to come here with a bar set so high? This town's lucky to have Lee Bryce. My career is lucky to have Lee Bryce. Uh, little Jesse, she's the only one of the four writers, the only one that had to follow her own song that she had written. I don't know how you get better than that. That Bobby Braddock, not only the greatest songwriter, but one of the greatest human beings you'll ever meet. He can teach us all how to be a good guy in this town. Great guy. Great night. He stopped loving her today. Oh, I'm here for two reasons. Uh, I was asked to be here, and, and uh, uh, I may need this help myself someday. You know? I think the word's gotten out that what we do is really unique, and it's safe, and the results and outcomes are positive, that Music Health Alliance can truly, truly heal the music. He stopped loving her today.